electric vehicles are the future there is no doubt in that however this one in particular seems to have come right out of it this is the bmw ix bmw's first all electric suv and bmw has seemed to hit it out of the park in the first go itself of course this is not the first electric car from bmw stable we did see the i8 and the i3s which were on sale for some time in india however they did not seem to get a lot of traction as far as sales are concerned. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Whipple and in this video we are going to tell you what the all new BMW iX is all about. Now before we get into the video, press that subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to get regular updates on our uploads. Now let's start with the design of the BMW iX. Well if you ask me, this car looks nothing like any production car we have seen before. In fact, it looks like it is still a car in its concept form, but no it isn't. This is the production model of the BMW iX. Now the front has this new large intelligent kidney grille, which some might find to be a little overwhelming to look at. But it does house all the radar tech and the 360 degree camera. What's even more interesting is that the grill has self-healing properties and any scratches or scuffs will be repaired automatically whenever you show it some heat. The grill is flanked by what BMW claims are the narrowest headlights they have put on a production car. The headlights consist of BMW laser light LEDs which should give a really good view of the road ahead in the dark. Right below the headlights is this panel which houses the parking sensor which are barely visible since they are well integrated with piano black finish. There are also these air curtains on either side of the bumper which are actually functional. Speaking of the hood, well you cannot pop it open to get a view of the electric motor as it is completely sealed. The only thing that opens on the hood is this inlet for the wiper fluid which has been cleverly integrated with the BMW logo. Moving to the side, the SUV has a rather large silhouette and gets these large wheel arches that are filled up really well by these 22 inch alloy wheels with blue brake calipers. Now both the front and the rear wheels get disc brakes. The lower portion gets a piano black finish running along the side of the car and the B pillar also gets the same treatment. The C pillar has this IX branding along with this blacked out stripe which gives the car a floating roof effect. The doors are large and have these newly introduced handles that are flush with the car's body. All four doors get frameless windows and soft close feature. At the rear, the BMW logo houses the 360 degree camera and has an integrated washer to clean the camera as well. It is flanked by these two slim LED tail lights. And moving below, there is this large bumper with integrated sensors and the exhaust pipe has now been replaced by these diffusers. Pop the boot open and you are welcome to a 500 liters of storage space. The rear seats also get a 60-40 split to open up more room when you need it, 1750 liters to be precise. Now moving inside you are greeted by these lush interiors, starting with this race inspired hexagonal steering wheel. At the center is this large single piece curved glass display which makes up for the infotainment system and the MID. The whole dashboard gets a premium leather finish and houses only the AC vents apart from the large screen. Overall, the dash has a minimalistic and clean design. The central armrest opens up space to store your knickknacks and also extends to the central control unit which is finished in wood and houses this beautifully crafted iDrive controller, volume rocker and drive selector. The wood panel also gets other control buttons. Below the controller are two cup holders and a wireless charger. The seats are plush and comfortable and get these crystal controllers for both driver and front passenger. The rear seat too is plush and comfortable and gets a central armrest with well hidden cup holders. The isofix seat anchors are also really well hidden. Each rear passenger gets two Type-C charging ports which are integrated in the front seats. They also have this hatch that can hold a folding table which will be available as an accessory. The rear passengers also get a rear aircon with full controls. 
Overall, there is a lot of space in the car and can seat 5 comfortably. The highlight however inside the car is this huge panoramic glass roof which is electrochromatic and can go from transparent to opaque with just a touch of a button. In terms of the powertrain, the iX gets two electric motors, one for each axle, thus making it all-wheel drive. The motors put out and combine power of 326 HP and 630 Nm of peak torque. The motors can propel the car from 0 to 100 in just 6.1 seconds. They are powered by two high voltage batteries with a combined capacity of 76.6 kWh that claim a range of 425 km. The batteries can be charged up to 80% in just 31 minutes and can be topped off for a 100 km range in just 10 minutes using a 150 kW charger. While the 50 kW chargers which are commonly found in India, the battery goes from 0 to 80% in just 73 minutes and a 100 km range top off can be done in 21 minutes. If you use the 11 kW charger, it will take 7 hours to fully charge the car and a top off comes in 2.5 hours. As an introductory offer, BMW will provide the BMW Wallbox charger to all iX customers. This charger is capable of charging up to 11 kW. With the iX, BMW has also introduced something called Shytech or Stull technology. It is technology that remains out of sight with exterior and interior features and only become visible when they are actually in use. So for example, the kidney grill, it houses the sensors and the camera and the radar tech along with the proximity uh, sensors, the flush door openers, uh, then you have the washers under the front logo and there is also a camera washer under the rear logo. You have integrated speakers, the heads up display projector it, which is recessed into the instrument panel. All these little things make up for what BMW calls shy tech. Another interesting fact, the BMW iX has also been produced with no use of rare earth metals or raw materials from deep sea mining. The production has been done with 100% green electricity using natural and recyclable materials. The BMW iX will be available in mineral white, phytonic blue, black sapphire and sophisto grey colors. It will also be available in BMW individual aventurine red metallic paint finish which you see in this video. Now the prices of the iX are not out yet and they will be coming to India taking the CBU route so we expect the prices to be around the 1 crore or more than 1 crore rupee mark. So that's the BMW iX SUV. Let us know what you think of the car in the comments and if you like the video hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to Motoroids and press the bell icon to get notified on our future videos. This is Whipple signing off and we will see you in the next video. Until then, rev hard, rev free and drive safe.